name of Jesus. So, Father, come and minister, come and move, come and reign. Oh, Rabba Sakayande, Reko Sada Bayanda. Heavenly Father, we consecrate this place, the atmosphere, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. That, Father, your presence shall come and reign. That, Father, your glory shall come and reign in the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh, we give you the glory, Jesus. Oh, we give you the glory, Lord. Come and reign, Lord. Come and reign, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We welcome you. Oh, we welcome you to come and reign, Jesus. Oh, take control, take control, take preeminence, Lord. Take preeminence, Lord. Wherever you are, you can just tell the Lord to take preeminence over that, over that place in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, come and reign, come and reign in your power, come and reign. Oh, wherever we are, oh Lord, come and move in the name of Jesus. Oh, we welcome you to move and reign in this place, in this sanctuary, in Jesus' name. Oh, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share briefly from the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter number 22. And in Genesis chapter 22, I just want to give a brief preview of of what we are going to share because I know we are not we do not have much time and in Genesis chapter 22 the Bible says and it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham you can, you can reduce it down a little bit and it came to pass that after these things that God did tempt Abraham and he said unto Abraham behold he called Abraham Abraham and Abraham answered behold here I am and God said take now your son thy only son Isaac whom thou loveth the most and get thee to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains that I will tell you. And the Lord spoke to Abraham. And this is the promise that Abraham had waited for all his life. From when God spoke to him. When God promised him that he will give him a son. Abraham had waited for the fulfillment of this promise and it has not it had now been even 10 years past the Lord speaking to him and Abraham and his wife Sarai knew that God promised that he will give us a son and when God gave them the son then God comes in Genesis 22 and God speaks to Abraham and God tells Abraham in Genesis 22 that take thy only son, the son of promise. Take this son who you have waited for all these years. Take your only son and offer him as a sacrifice in one of the mountains that I will show you. And I was just reflecting at what was going on in the mind of, of Abraham at this moment. That God has promised him and God has come through for him and God has given him that promise. God has fulfilled that promise. But the Lord tells Abraham, take thy only son and sacrifice him upon the one of the mountains that I will show you. And I love verse 3 because it says that and Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass. And took two young men together with him. And he took Isaac his son. And he took the wood of the burnt offering. And rose up. And went unto the place that God had told him. 
and I'm looking at Abraham, a man who had feared God, a man who had walked with God, a man who had trusted upon God and God had promised him and God had fulfilled the promise that God had declared it unto him. But what does God do? God tells Abraham to take his son and offer him as a sacrifice. And Abraham without question wakes up, takes his son, takes the wood and he goes to the mountain where the Lord had commanded him to go. And I know you know the rest of this story. But I'll skip these verses and go to verse I'll go to verse 10. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of God of the Lord called upon him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And verse 12, the angel of the Lord told Abraham, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do him any harm. For now I know that you fear the Lord, seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son from me. And I was reading this scripture, and I was getting challenged by the faith that was in Abraham. That either Abraham had waited upon God for the promise. And the Lord had spoken to Abraham. Commanding him to go and sacrifice his only son. And Abraham loved the Lord this much. That he was willing to say, God, I know this is the promise that I have waited for all my life. And you have given me this promise. But God, I am giving this child back unto you because I love you this much. And the angel of the Lord told Abraham, do not do your son any harm because now I know that you fear the Lord. Abraham loved God to the extent that he was willing to offer even back unto God that which God had given unto him. I will want to also share from the book of Romans, chapter number 12. Because we are learning that Abraham loved God to the extent that he, want, he was willing to offer all to him. And the angel told him that now I know, now I know that you fear the Lord. And after the angel of the Lord speaking to Abraham these words, then we know what happened. The Lord offered a ram that took the place of Isaac as the burnt sacrifice for the Lord on this day. And here in Romans chapter 12, Paul writes to the Romans and he says to them, I beseech you therefore, brethren, in view of God's mercy, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, for this is your reasonable service. The Lord today is now not calling us to sacrifice our sons like he called Abraham, but the Lord is calling us calling unto us that love him with all of our hearts, calling unto us who are called by his name, just like Paul told the Romans, that we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. Abraham was ready to offer Isaac as a burnt offering unto the Lord because he told himself that if this would please the Lord, then I would offer it unto him. But Romans, Paul writes to the Romans and tells them, offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God because this is your spiritual act of service. And therefore today the Lord is calling unto us 
as we prove our love to him, as we show him our fear, as we show him the reverence that we have for him, uh, as we show him in the, in the walk that we are walking together with him, the Lord is calling on us to offer our bodies, our son, living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. And I know that if we do this, if we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, then the Lord will speak to us just like he spoke to Abraham. And, he's, and he will tell us that now I know that you love me. Now I know that you fear me. When we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to the Lord. And verse 2 of Romans 12 says, that do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be ye renewed, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. The Lord is calling us, just like he called Abraham to come out from the village, to go to the mountain. The Lord is calling on us to come out of the world and be transformed by the renewal of our minds. But, by, but be transformed by the renewal of our minds that we may know his good, his perfect and his pleasing will. My prayer today is that the Lord will help us to show his love for him. To show our love for him by presenting our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him. And by, by being renewed by our minds, being renewed by his word, being transformed, being transformed to be more like him in the name of Jesus Christ. For how can the world know that we are the called? We are the, the ones who have been chosen of God. How can they know that we are believers when they do not see us being transformed? When we do not see us being like them? A number of times instead of being transformed, we are conformed. We resemble the world. But the Bible says do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of our minds. Today we want to pray that the Lord will transform us, that the Lord will transform our minds, the Lord will transform our minds, that we shall have the mind of Christ, that we shall have the mind of Christ. Because when we have the mind of Christ, then we shall be transformed. To be more like him in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you can just make this prayer together with me. That we shall offer ourselves as living sacrifices. Holy and acceptable to God. Because this is our act of spiritual service. That we shall show unto the Lord our love. We shall focus our love unto God. Showing him our love just like Abraham. We shall offer not burnt sacrifices. But we shall offer our lives unto him. For this is our spiritual act of service. Father we come to you O Lord. Because you have spoken to us. Lord you are calling us to come out of them. To be separate from them. Not to be conformed to be like them. But to be transformed, O oh Lord, by the renewal of our minds. Heavenly Father, you are calling us to be the light of the world. To be this city that is on upon a hill. To be these people, O oh Lord, that are the light of the world. To be these people that are the salt of the world that shall season the world. O oh Lord, you are calling us, my Father, to come out of the darkness and into your marvelous light. You are calling us, O oh Lord, to come out of them, my Father. And be separate from them. Heavenly Father, we want to come to you 
repenting, O Lord, of the many times where instead of being transformed, O Lord, we have conformed. We have been the same as the world. There has not been any difference, O Lord, between the world and the church because the church has taken the standards of the world. We have conformed, O Lord. We have fallen down, O Lord, brought low the standards, O Lord, and we have not been like Christ. We have not walked like Christ. Heavenly Father, you have said that whosoever says he loves you should walk in the, in the manner in which you walked. Heavenly Father, we have not done that, O Lord. We have conformed we have conformed Jesus. We have conformed to the standards of this world. Heavenly Father, today we ask that Jesus, you may cleanse us, you may wash us, you may purge us, O oh Lord, with hands of O oh Lord. You may cleanse us, O oh Lord, from the lust of the flesh, from the, from the lust of the eyes, O oh Lord, from the pride of life. You may, you may cleanse us, O oh Lord, wash us, O oh Lord, as the church, my Father. For Father, we you desire, O oh Lord, that we can we we shall be awakened, we shall be renewed, we shall be transformed. You are calling us to this to this level, you are calling us to this moment, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray that Lord we shall be able to rise to the occasion, to rise to the call, O oh Lord, of Romans chapter one, 12, verse 1. We shall rise, O oh Lord, and be, be, be them that shall offer their, their bodies, their lives, everything, O oh Lord, as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable before thee, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh Lord, for a transformation in the name of Jesus. A transformation, O oh Lord, from the deepest parts of our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, set a fire down in our souls that we cannot control, that we cannot contain, O oh Lord. Let the fire of Christ burn in us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for a resurrection power, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, just like it was in Ezekiel 37, where the bones that were dead came back to life. O oh Lord, we pray that even the parts of, of the church, the body of Christ that has died, O oh Lord, the body of Christ, the church shall arise in the name of Jesus, in the power of our resurrection, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. And, shall, and Father, we shall arise, O oh Lord, and offer ourselves, O oh Lord, as a sacrifice unto you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we, we pray, O oh Lord, that Father, you shall you shall cause us to be transformed, cause us to be awakened in the name of Jesus. Cause us to be the light, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, that shines in the darkness in the name of Jesus. That them that are in the dark shall see this light and shall come to this light, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. That them that are in the dark, O oh Lord, shall see the light of God in our lives in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Them that are not seasoned, my Father, shall see the salt. They shall taste the salt in our lives in the name of Jesus and they shall come my father to you through us in Jesus name. Oh we thank you Jesus. We pray oh Lord that father you shall stir us up, stir us up, stir us up to righteousness, stir us up to holiness in the name of Jesus. Stir us up, O oh Lord, to the light of your word. Stir us up, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Stir us up, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Stir us up as the church, as believers, we pray for a holy fire. It shall burn in us in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, as you transform us as you move in us, as you burn in us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we pray, Lord, that you shall cause us to arise, cause us to arise from our slumber in the name of Jesus. As is, it is said in Ephesians chapter 6, that awake, O oh sleeper, awake you that slumber. We shall arise from our slumber, from our sleep, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For Father, you are calling us to be watchful, to be watchful, my Father, to watch and pray, O oh Lord, you shall cause us to arise 
in the name of Jesus you shall cause us to awake oh Lord from our slumber that we shall be like the uh, like the virgins oh Lord who are watchful waiting for the bride oh Lord for father you have said that these are the last days and Lord you are coming back you are coming back for the bride of Christ you are coming back for the church oh Lord heavenly father we pray that we shall arise we shall be awake in the name of Jesus Christ Father, cause our lambs, cause us to be awake that we may know that we may have oil for our lambs in the name of Jesus. That Father, we may keep the fire burning. We may keep the fire burning in the, in the altar of God. The fire of prayer, the fire of fellowship, the fire of the word shall burn. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, cause us to arise. Cause us to arise, oh God, in Jesus' name. Cause us as the church to arise, O Lord. Cause us as the worshippers to arise, O Lord, in prayer. In the name of Jesus, cause us to arise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, cause us to arise. That, Father, we may present ourselves as living sacrifices, holy, acceptable, O Lord, before you, O Lord. That we may present ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, cause us, O Lord, to have a hunger for your word, O Lord. That we may present uh, ourselves unto you as workmen approved, O Lord, of God. In the name of Jesus, cause us to arise, O Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, we know that the creation is mourning. The creation is mourning, awaiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. We are the sons of God. Oh Lord, cause us to be awake that we may manifest your glory, that we may manifest you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, for the creation grounds, awaiting for the sons of God to arise. Cause us to arise, oh Lord. Cause us to arise, oh Lord, for these are indeed the last days where the Lord you are calling on us to watch and pray, to watch and pray, to watch and pray Father cause, cause us oh Lord to watch and pray continuously in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Oh, we thank you Lord, we thank you Lord, cause us to watch and pray Heavenly Father we pray that Lord as you have promised in your word in the book of Joel that in the last days you shall pour out your spirit oh Lord Father pour out your spirit on us pour out your spirit on us oh Lord in the name of Jesus Father let there be a fresh outpouring of your spirit oh Lord even upon the church in Jesus mighty name even upon the worshippers in this place in the name of Jesus Father let there be a fresh outpouring oh Lord even of your presence of your Holy Spirit upon our lives in the name of Jesus Father we do not want to remain the same Father we desire a fresh outpouring a fresh infilling of your spirit in the name of Jesus we desire a fresh infilling of your spirit in Jesus name oh Holy Spirit of God fill us afresh fill us afresh each and every day even now in the name of Jesus for Father we desire a fresh outpouring oh Lord of your spirit in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Father rain down your spirit rain down your spirit rain down your spirit Lord 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 someone if you are there and you are praying together with me ask the Lord to rain down his spirit rain down his spirit oh Lord rain down your Holy Spirit upon our lives in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit rain down Holy Spirit rain down. Holy Spirit, rain down. Let there be a new in feeling, a new touch oh, of your presence in the life of the church. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ that we shall be, we shall be awakened. Oh Lord, we shall be seasoned. In the name of Jesus we shall be touched, we shall be renewed. In the name of Jesus let there be a fresh outpouring in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that the eyes of the church shall be opened, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
that we shall see the bride. We shall see, we, we shall be ready as the bride of Christ who are waiting the bridegroom in the name of Jesus. We shall be ready as the bride of Christ in these last days, oh Lord. You are calling upon the bride to prepare. You are calling upon the bride to be ready because the bridegroom is coming. The bridegroom is coming. Father, we know, oh Lord, that as you come, you shall cause us to be awakened in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We pray, cause us to be awakened in the spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that we may offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice, a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice in the name of Jesus. Oh, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, holy and acceptable. Before thee, O oh Lord, I desire that my life may be consecrated unto thee, O oh Lord. That my life, O oh Lord, shall be devoted fully unto you, O oh Lord. I desire that even my life, O oh Lord, shall be truly steadfast. Fast. My walk shall be steadfast, O Lord, even together with thee, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that my eyes shall be fixed upon you, Lord, the author and the finisher of my faith, in the name of Jesus. Oh, cause us, O Lord, to fix our eyes on you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabba Santa, Rabba Bosaka Yandi, Reko Santa, Rabba Bayandi, Reko Santa, Rabayanda. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Yandi, Reko Saka Yanda, Oh, Rabba Sika Yanda, Rabba Bayandi. Father, reign in this place in the name of Jesus. Reign in the life of your saints, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, for you are doing something new, oh Lord. You are doing a new thing. You are doing a new thing. This is the season, oh Lord, where you are doing a new thing. Even in the life of the church, even in the life of the saints, even in the life, oh Lord, of the Christians in this place, of the members of Crisco MTC, we know that, Lord, you are doing a new thing. You are doing a new thing. You are causing it to, to come out. You are causing it to sprout out in the name of Jesus. You are causing righteousness to come out in the name of Jesus. You are causing it to come out a new thing, a new fruit of righteousness and holiness, a new fruit of the word, a new passion oh Lord in Jesus name a new fire, you are causing it to come out, to sprout out in the name of Jesus Christ oh Father let it let it burn in us oh Lord let it burn in us that it may transform even the entire world in Jesus name we give you thanks honor and praise, we bless you Father in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. I want to, to appreciate all, all of us who have just joined in this fellowship and prayer. We want to pray that the Lord will continue to lead you. The Lord will continue to guide you. The Lord will continue to minister unto you. And we are Crisco MTC located at Kahawa West. We invite you to join us every Wednesday and every Friday for these moments of prayer and fellowship as we wait upon the Lord our God. We also invite you for our Sunday service. You can join us live or you can join us in our sanctuary in the name of Jesus Christ. And I know the Lord will bless you and the Lord will minister to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.